there, everybody. Welcome back to The Witcher. Last time, we set off to save Dandelion by making a play to lure out a Doppler named Doodoo, but in the process of getting actors and stagehands and bouncers or whatever the hell I needed, I ended up meeting Hattori, and Hattori wanted me to help him take care of some gangsters, but that quest was way above what level I am, and now I'm stuck in the middle of it. A Red Skull level quest. Just when I thought I was out leveling things. Nope. Walk right into a challenge. All right. So be it. Let's have some fun. And this Sucrus from Skellige as a Tory's bodyguard. Okay. Madam? Okay, so he's over here. Hopefully he's out at night. Maybe he's at that whorehouse where the Skellige's were at earlier? Nope. Where is this guy at? Excuse me, sir. Where be you? Oops, excuse me. Look awfully suspicious to me. That's because I am awfully suspicious. Oh, here we go. Oh my god, what? Yes, I should interject. <clears throat> Hi. What the fuck are you doing? We weren't done conversing. Call that a conversation? Not your plowing business. You need a smack, is that it? Do you need a smack? Do you need a smack? Oh shit! Oh shit! Punch him in the back of the head like that and roll up the side and go! Oh, shit! There we go, and then go, whoop, come on. Not go. your lucky day. There we go, yut, 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 and then go around him, and then go around him again and bump him. Woo, I went through his body. That's the power of a witcher. Come on, dum dum. You gonna give up yet? Man. Be friends now? Is this one of those you don't know someone till you fight them Sorry, things? Sorry, but you asked for it. I'm Geralt. Secrets. You did well, mate. An ale to patch things. Come, we'll talk inside. <laughs> yeah, there's one guy who's really excited. Yeah, then there's another guy who's his friend. Like, yeah, yeah this is great. We're gonna sit under that guy with no shirt. What brings you here, Garrett? If anyone's gonna pee on us, it's gonna be that guy. Oh no. You and the merchant, why'd you fight? You and the merchant, what was that about? Uh, why Miss Sess wedded that plow and rotter is beyond me. That was your brother-in-law? Prick-in-law, more like. Sweet talk me at first. Skellig and mead, we need barrels, we'll be rich men. So, I brought it in. Then he starts going on about unforeseen storage costs, net gross balances, I don't know what else. Business and family just don't mix. Exactly, mate. So, I've got a job for you. With someone you probably are not gonna like. Looking for a bodyguard. Interested? Why not, if there's coin in it? Well, there isn't. Not yet. So where to barter? Favor for a favor, huh? I'm gonna oh, kill man. You, Tori. Yeah, I guess. What did you have in mind? My brother in law owes me some coin. Get it back and we'll talk. All right, yeah. <sighs> Damn it. I'll do it. Where'll I find him? Nearby at the docks. You know what? I don't care for his coin all in all. If you don't get it back, I won't mind. So, what do you want me to do? Smash his stock of mead. It was me brought it in from Aunt Skellig. That a mature thing to do? Nay, but it's fair. Well, I imagine nothing about this could go wrong. Oh, and now there's just suddenly a bunch of random red dots on the minimap. <laughs> it's already going wrong. Um, okay, where are these guys at exactly? Reeks here. Time I went back to sea. Mm, boy, here we go. Instead of dropping his body in the Damn exit. Oh, here it is. Hello? 
Random bandits? Is that you? Yeah, these are just randos. Hey, boys! You picked the wrong alleyway. But thanks for the loot. <laughs> and that ham sandwich. I have earned more. I'm going to say earned. I have earned more ham sandwiches than one Witcher should ever have. Some may say I murdered poor defenseless level 8s for it, but I... S oh, what the shit? Stop walking into his sword. Who's down there? I saw these guys earlier. Who are you? Thugs. Oh, my God. Okay. Woo! <laughs> that was violent. Did they mug a guy down here? Well, they didn't. Te technically, I did. So, someone got mugged down here, and the Witcher saved the day. That's the story I'll tell. So, besides being totally worth it, where does this lead? Does this go back to the sewers? I feel like this is where I came from with Triss, but let's make sure. Let's verify and confirm before I go back to my other adventure and miss out on this possible adventure. It has to be. Yeah. I would have looted those barrels. Yes, this is exactly where I was. Okay. Except now there are bandits there. All right. Back to where we were before. So we're running out on the docks, looking for trouble. Mm -hmm. Well, hey there, dude. Can I talk to him? Greetings. I'm Mr. Sucrus's collector. Come to get... Mr. Sucrus, the man's a boor. I do not deal with illiterate peasants. Tell him I'll pay just as soon as palm trees sprout on Skellige. Palm trees grow on Skellige. <laughs> Got a problem with that dude? Got a problem with Sucrus? <laughs> I thought mead. I shall import mead. Daft idea for a business. The import duties. My bollocks shrivel at the thought. I paid the bastard what we agreed, less half the duties. And palm trees will sooner sprout in Skellige. Yeah, I know. Well, palm trees do sprout in Skellige. Palm trees have sprouted on Skellige. Now pay up. It can't be. Of course I shall pay Sucrus. A letter of credit acceptable? Redeemable at the Vivaldi's bank? Yes. I'm on my way. Should I also destroy the stuff, or...? Alright, I guess I'll just say I resolved the problem. So I could have just run on there and destroyed it. Probably would have had to fight those guys. I don't know. We'll find out. I don't imagine either way it matters. He should work for me, yes? Alright. Go back in here. Give him the old... Everything's okay. Right here. Hello, my friend. Greetings. Hi, hi, Garrett. How you doing? Got your coin back, I think. Damn it! I should have just said I destroyed everything, but okay. Took care of it. Trader said he'd give you a letter of credit issued by the Vivaldi's bank. Is that so? Well done, mate. So who am I to know? Oh, all right. Off? Never mind. Just want you to keep an eye on someone. This swordsmith. Seems you know each other. I be your Hattori, the elf. Tried swindling me on axes once, the bastard. You working for him? You could say that. We're trying to dismantle the swordsmithing monopoly in Novigrad. Oh, noble cause. Well, you're vouching for him. Don't see why not. I'll grab some of the boys and we can go. Awesome. Oh, okay. That went much better than I thought it did. What would have happened if I just destroyed everything? Maybe because their family, something would have gone down differently? I don't know. Although the one guy didn't really seem like family. He seemed like kind of an asshole. Okay. 
Back to the tourney. Uh, jump it! Pump it! Oh. Hello. Cross this bridge. Way over here. Back to Hattori. I need a Hattori fast travel. Hello, Strumpet. Oh, come on! Just because it's night doesn't mean you got to be here coming out trying to get killed. You have families, I'm sure. You're better alive. How many of these people I gotta kill before everyone realizes? Okay, gang, stop it. Go back to your families. Go back to your lives. Go back to your children. Go back to your wives. Don't stay out late and hide in alleyways. Or the Witcher will kill you in those alleyways. <laughs> Tis an old poem they speak of. What's he doing here? Jump it. Oh, he's got pirates outside. Awesome. All right. Well, I don't need to talk to him. I just need to talk to Hattori. What's going on, dude? You got companions now. Greetings, Hattori. See, Sucrus already found you. You two agree to something? Yes, Geralt. I was forced to sell him a few axes at the wholesale price, but I was glad to do it. Thank you. Yeah, all right. Well, you accept orders for swords now? Finally accepting orders for swords again? Sadly, no. I lack certain crafting supplies. Bro, if you're gonna make me get supplies, I'm gonna be real mad at you. Ernst van Horn's got a monopoly on them as well. Just so. He bought them cheap from sword makers abandoning the trade. Now he hoards them like a squirrel. But if you... No. You'd never agree. <gasps> agree to what? I happen to know where van Horn keeps his hoard. It's more than he could possibly ever use. We could borrow a little. You? There's something... I used to think you were like an upstanding citizen. You're kind of scummy too. Like everyone else. All right, what are you getting me into? What are you getting me into? Borrow? Don't you mean steal? Stealing from a thief's no crime. It isn't? So what is it? Poetic justice? How did I get sucked into this? And why? Excellent it's question. Simple. The best swords you've ever seen. Armor, trebuchet, catapults. All right, all right. Assuming I agree, how do you see this? Van Horn has his warehouse at the docks. The materials I need are very heavy. You must ask Sucrus to take his boys. Uh, one more thing. The crates I need will smell of ammonia. Okay, so we need ammonia-smelling crates. I know this probably isn't going to happen, but it would be amazing if by doing all this, I somehow got catapults and trebuchets and things. <laughs> like, Geralt's like, launch me. I can fly around the world. I'm just saying, that's what I want. Greetings. Oh, Geralt, how are things? Hattori's got a job for us. Great, I oh, he was starting to get bored. Wants us to borrow a few crates from Ernst Van Horn's warehouse. They'll smell of ammonia. Hmm, sounds doable. I know where Van Horn stores his goods. The boys and I will go there, look around. Meet us near the sturgeon. Fine, when? After dark, of course. See you there. Why, that's what it is now. Or do I have to wait till tomorrow after dark? Ugh, okay. So it's 2.45 a.m. I feel like this is an after dark situation for a little bit longer. I'll just run over there. What's he doing here? I'm on a mission, man. Come on, keep hoofing it, Geralt. Strumpet. Okay, I feel like I'm here in time. Boys, hello. All right, we know all we need to know. Just one guard at the entrance. I'll take care of him. Thought you might. Me nose ain't all that sensitive. I'll not find the right crates, so you gotta mark him with chalk. We'll get a cart in the meantime. Fine. What do I do when I'm done? Just leave the warehouse. Then we'll go in. I actually like this guy, because for once, I'm not doing the heavy lifting. I'm literally walking up, probably gonna axe you, dude, and then call it a night. Seems pretty great to me. Since yesterday, it's 
Also, there are now many people here. The deal of a lifetime. All cooked up. Not like I care, mate. Nice sod off. Nine. When I came to, I realized I just left him in Baldi's best. Penniless. Mind control. Spell casting. What sorcery is this? What about elves? Any elves? What? What the hell? It's you! I know you! Mr. Dwarf, this is the thieving swindler I told you about. Are you oh, following no. you scoundrel? It did come back to bite ah, me in the ass. Ploying nonsense. I knows him. It's Witcher Geralt. How goes it, Master Witcher? A Witcher? Well, it all makes sense now. Mr. Dwarf, do not listen to him. The bastard will curse us! Trade heads with troll. A friend of Yapin Zigrin's a friend of mine. Yeah, woo! Now so do off for I lose my temper. Now! Abracadabra, hocus pocus. I got a feeling that's not the last we'll see of him. How goes it, Master Witcher? Anything specific you're looking for in Van Horn's warehouse? Can I straight up tell this guy? Requires delusion. Wait, I have level three. Oh, because he told him he's not going to fall for it? Oh, I'll be honest, out of all the outcomes, that is something I did not see coming. Okay, well, I have no problem giving this guy 200. Yarpin sends his regards. Yarpin Zygrin sends his regards. By Rune Durin, just don't nick everything. And hurry, get it done while I'm in the privy. Excellent. Okay, Apparently so those crafting supplies. Just don't nick everything. I won't. I won't. I'm just gonna Must be it. Keep on keeping on. Ooh, is this a nope, that's just red. Thought that may I thought that maybe that would have been something. Okay, here's another one. Does stink of ammonia. Great. And that would be it. Gotta signal them now. Yeah, I mean, I guess I could take this sword over here, but I don't really need any more swords. Hell, look at me. I'm passing up swords, guys. Have you any idea whose warehouse this is, goat fucker? Uh, Oi, Garrett. It's a bloke Atari told us about. The bugger who sleeps with Cleaver or something. Sucrus, God damn it. Why are you here? With the sorcerer? Oh, now I see. That is one hell of a jest you pulled. Hattori sent you. That plowy non tube will be sorry his mother didn't strangle him with his navel string. But first, we'll feed you to the crabs. Hands off my brother in law, swine. Only I can thrash him. Understood? Oh, y'all get thrashed. Let's mop the floor with these plowing Nordlings. Join us, Geralt. Adam. We fist fighting? Sucrose, wait. Yeah, what the hell? Let's dance. Give him here, Sucrus. Yeah, let's dance. Twir, sir. This is this is a street fight. Oh shit! Nope. Let's burn some people down. Whoa, okay. Can we not kill his, like, uh, brother-in-law? Damn! We could conquer all Nilfgaard with this fighter. Sucrus, forgive me. I love you like a brother, you unkempt bugger. Friends? Of course, friends. What good has Becker ever brought us? Where's that Dracker that hit me? Don't mean to spoil your reunion, but what'll we do with Van Horn? We'll take him to Skellige before he comes too. Won't be any more trouble to you. And maybe we'll try a new venture. But first we have to move these crates to Hattori's. True. I had to pay him a visit too. <laughs> Alright, well that worked out great too, I, I suppose. All right, and I got some ground loot, some people's ground loot. That poor guy. Oh, my goodness. Okay. 
Back to Hattori. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna assume to understand Skellige customs. I don't get it. People died. Three men died today, tonight. And then they were like, "All's forgiven." Strumpet. All's forgiven. Okay. Sure. Whoa! What? You've unlocked access to Master Blacksmith. Oh my God. Atari. Greetings, Ibeer. Geralt, you return safe and sound. I do. You doing all right? Never better. Once Van Horn had finally left, Cleaver lost interest in swordsmiths. I can forge swords again without fear of my workshop going this up. It's all in happened flames. in like 25 minutes. Glad to hear it. <laughs> You've no notion how glad I am. I have no need of sucrus anymore and can devote myself to what I truly love. I thank you, Witcher. So, can you work in peace now? So now can you craft me something extraordinary? Naturally. It is what we agreed. Give me a few days, then come by for your new sword. Hey! Return to Hattori later to see if he's finished with your sword. Awesome. Okay, well, I will do that. Look at that guy. That guy's got like a stanky leg going on. What is that guy doing? Damn! Damn! Look at that guy. He, he's feeling it. Dude is feeling it. Well, not anymore. He's not. Okay. Well, I suppose that means we can go back to plays the thing. Head to the docks and hire the ushers. The thing I wanted to do at the beginning. Sure. Back to the docks. As the morning sun rises over Novigrad, Geralt heads to the docks to find workers to usher in folk and keep the calm at his amazing play. He's probably going to have to fight some dudes because that's how this game works. You want us to work for you? We've got a fight, we do. Okay, sure, I'll fight you. Wait, there's just a monster in the water out there? Right in the harbor? Yeah, okay. Oh, of course. Mm -hmm. So? Sophus the Bull, hello? Good fight. Some nice footwork there. Challenging me, or is it hell you want to face? A witcher versus the beast of Metina. Killer instinct versus primal rage. <laughs> how did I even... How did I even know this was going to happen? You from Nilfgaard? You guys really from Nilfgaard? We's from plowing Metina, damn it. Oh, Nilfgaard. Raised by wild hands on the windswept plains of Magdara. Brothers forged in bloodshed. Veterans of Metina's infamous filthy arenas. The perfect Who ushers. Face the wild men of the south. Who will look the beasts in the eye? So yeah, I got a job for you guys. <laughs> How do you feel about helping old people find their seats? like to hire you to help out. We're staging a play. Lead us to kick some ass on stage. I actually want you to usher, keep the peace, and make sure no one's ass gets kicked on stage or off. Got the wrong men. Ass kicking's what we do. Hmm. I'll pay you? What if I fight you and win? Yeah! How about a wager? If I beat Hal, you'll come work for me gratis. See, Al's no fan of mummies. Failed robots. Stay in the desert. He'll need something special to convince him. Here's an idea. Take us both on. Same time. Fire the century. A witcher against the two-headed dragon of Metin. What if I lose? Oh, you'll lose. But we'll still do your little job. You'll just pay us double. Yeah, let's do this. Fine. Fight you both. Cough up the coin first. Lose, and it stays with us. I'm sure I'm liking this deal. Okay, sure. 
here. Double your wages, as promised. But if I win, I get it back. Now, finish him! Got something special like that! Dark fight! My coin's on the what? I thought this was, this was a friendly contest. Oh my god. No, no, no from behind. So you stay your ass way over there. Okay. That's right. Okay. That's good. That's good. Your friend should just stay bugged out over there. The perfect fight. In the back from behind. Come on, come on, come on. Punch him. Bounce behind him. Okay. Okay, now his friend's moving towards me. That's not good. That's not good. Okay. Him getting stuck gave me no advantage. <laughs> Nothing changed. Thankfully, his friend is awful, so maybe I should have been after him first. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Well, that's not good. All right, come on. If I can get past Sophus the Bull. There we go. There we go. Just got it. Ah, shit. Well, ah, uh, Jesus, criminy! Uh, my dodges, my dodges just isn't fast enough. A two for two men. There we go. That's one down. Oh my god. And then punch him! Holy shit. Well, well. Ain't often you get such a lovely trash in, eh, Al? Man, speechless. But I can see it on his mug. Bugger likes it. Time we got some rest. We'll guard whatever you want. For free, eh, Al? Your coin? Have it back. And don't fret. We'll get there before any of the uh, dancing starts. <laughs> I want to know what this guy was cheering at. What is That guy just made his way in the cutscene. He's like, I got something to tell you. All right, let's go back. Holy moly. UFO Commander, we are the future. We're gonna take you to the future. Then we're gonna get to the future. Where everyone talks like they're from the future. UFO Commander, we are the future. We're gonna take you to the future. Then we're gonna get to the future. Where everyone talks like they're from the future. Hello, our old sport. Me, Jess Cox, the number one out of the plan. The me, please, the tip top shape. I'm swell shape. And I can make a fortune for my ass for more. Shut the balls up. UFO Commander, we are the future. We're gonna take you to the future. Then we're gonna get to the future Where everyone talks like they're from Shut the balls up! UFO Commander, we are the future We're gonna take you to the future Then we're gonna get to the future Where everyone talks like they're from Shut the balls up! Give me that! No! 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 <laughs>